All my wire sculptures come from the same loop, and there's only one way to do it. The idea is to do it simply, and you end up with a shape. I used to sit on the back of the horse-drawn leveler, with my bare feet drawing forms in the sand, which later became the bulk of my sculptures. During World War II, I was sent to an internment camp because I was Japanese, even though I was an American citizen. The FBI came and took my father away from my family and I. I didn't see him for six years. The conditions of the camp were dehumanizing. I remember the stench being horrible and spending a lot of time waiting in lines for food and water. I also remember learning to draw from Disney animators. They were internees who were brought to the camp because of their origins. Despite the situation, they still drew art and taught me. That's where the seed got planted. Then I was issued an identification card that allowed me to study abroad. When attending an art class in Toluca, Mexico, a craftsman showed me how to make egg baskets by looping wire. The technique fascinated me. This skill allowed me to experiment, giving structural form to the images in my drawings. I realized that if I was going to make these forms, which interlock and interweave, it can only be done with a line, because a line can go anywhere. These forms came from all aspects of my life. They came from my childhood, and from my love of nature. They came from observing plants, the spiral shell of a snail, seeing light through insect wings, watching spiders repair their webs in the early morning, and seeing the sun through the droplets of water suspended from the tips of pine needles while watering my garden. When you put a seed in the ground, it doesn't stop growing after eight hours. It keeps growing every minute that it's in this earth. We too need to keep growing every moment of every day that we are on this earth. Everything I've experienced, everything I've learned has made me grow. That growth from my life has been planted in my art. Art is doing. Art deals directly with life. I hold no hostilities for what happened. I blame no one. Sometimes good comes through adversity. I would not be who I am today had it not been for the internment and I like who I am.